Montreal's Olympic pool, British hope, David Wilkie swims for gold. The 200 metres breaststroke. Main danger to Wilkie is American John Henkin. But on the home stretch, it's Wilkie's race. Wilkie wins in a world record time of 2 minutes 15.11 seconds. At Kingston on Lake Ontario, the yachting events. Britain scored a gold in the Tornado class and a silver in the Flying Dutchman. The Olympic Stadium, the classic sprint event, the men's 100 metres. And what a finish! Hasley Crawford, Trinidad, gets the gold. The shot put, Udo Bayer of that all-conquering East German squad. And that's far enough to win. The women's 100 metres. It's a blistering pace. Annegret Richter of West Germany first past the post. East Germany second, West Germany third. That most graceful of sports, pole vaulting. This is Tadeusz Lozowski of Poland taking off. You could say that really was a pole vault. Sluzowski beats them all. In the men's 200 metres, there are big names and bigger prestige for the winner. But Trinidad's Hasley Crawford pulls a muscle and is out of it. Donald Quarry of Jamaica hits the front and wins. When the 10,000 metres sets off, Portugal's newcomer Lopes is there and so is Britain's Brendan Foster. But on the home run, Lassie Viren of Finland takes the lead and stays there. But he's outside the Olympic record. Lopes second, Brendan Foster third. There's a big turnout to see Princess Anne of Britain's equestrian team in the endurance test. Riding goodwill, the princess finds the test tough and exacting. Carl Schultz of West Germany riding Madrigal. Superb horsemanship brings the West German a gold medal. Cyclists start the individual road race 180 kilometers. The cream of the world cycling talent is in this event. And the winner, Johansson of Sweden. In Montreal's main stadium, that other Scandinavian, Lasse Viren, hasn't quite finished with the medal. The 5,000 metres and the flying fin has a good chance of a double. Quacks, New Zealand is handily placed. So is Hildebrand of West Germany, Ian Stewart and Brendan Foster of Britain, and Dixon, another New Zealander, of Viren's danger men. Into the straight for the last time. Viren of Finland has made his move. He's done it. Lassie Viren scores double in the 10 and 5,000 metres. The girls set off in the 100 metres hurdles. Everybody knows that East German will be in the first three. A fast, world-class pace, but there's no doubt about the winner. Joanna Schaller of East Germany, Russia second and third. In fact, the surprise of the Games was the success of East Germany's Women of Steel. The men's hurdles final, 10 metres longer. A scorching pace, anybody could win it. But at the line, it's a surprise win for Guy Drew of France. Cuba second, USA third. Usually a United States preserve, the long jump again goes to a lean, loping American, Arnie Robinson. An untouchable gold medal jump for Arnie Robinson of 8.35 metres. The strongmen take their turn. Hammer thrower, Russian Yerily Sadik. A beautiful control throw and an Olympic record. Taking on the big one, Rosemary Ackerman of East Germany. Concentration. In a crowded stadium, not easy to find. For the East German, a magnificent 1.93 metres, the best in any Olympics. The men's jump produced the schoolboy's figure of Jacek Wysola of Poland, but there's nothing childlike about his jumping. A 
jump of 2.25 meters, and that's certainly a gold medal. Another classic at every Olympic Games is the 1500 meters. The tall New Zealander, John Walker, has failed before at Montreal, but not this time. When the marathon begins, the Olympic spectators have seen an array of world talent they'd never normally see in a lifetime. The big question is, will that tireless Finn, Lassie Viren, produce a treble goal? There had been rain, but conditions are now cool and ideal. 41 kilometers is a long, long way to go. About halfway, the field stringing out. Viren's going easily, but already he's been isolated from the front runner. It's a surprise for the stadium. Chipinski of East Germany runs into the arena first. And that magnificent win brings down the athletic curtain on Olympiad 1976. The stopwatches are put away, the track's cleared. Now the fun and suppressed comradeship take over. But even now, there's a barefaced try for the record books. When the streaker's been marched back into his trousers, Montreal's wonderful spectacular brings the games to a close. All round the stadium, the flashlights are popping as in come the big chiefs, representing all the Indian tribes of Canada. Flags of the countries who took part. Now, a solemn moment. The Olympic flame dies. When it's rekindled in Moscow, let's hope sportsmanship, not politics, will further the Olympic ideals.